Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Meron ulit akong isi-share today kasi recently I have been doing online shopping instead of shopping at the malls. And I just thought that it would be a great idea for me to share my online shopping experience with you guys because I have tried shopping with Lazada, Shopee, Althea, and Instagram, Facebook. So I thought there may be some of you who would like to know if it's safe, if it's okay, what kind of experience it is. So, let's go! So, ang una kong ipapakita sa inyo is my Althea haul. I'll have an unboxing video for my Althea haul. I'm not sure if it will be a separate video, but yes. I've had um, two Althea orders, separate deliveries. Yeah. My experience with Althea has been very pleasant actually. The thing about Althea is you have to order 1,500 pesos and above to be able to avail of free shipping. Kasi otherwise, yung shipping nila, because all the items are straight from Korea. So, if you will be charged for shipping from what I saw when I or tried to order before, na hindi 1,500 and above, the shipping is around 400 pesos since nga it will be coming from Korea. So, medyo hindi practical. So, every time na nag-order ako sa Althea, ang order ko should be 1,500 and above. Now, the good thing about it is that ang dami nilang promo. Like, the first time I ordered sa Althea, ang tagal ko na nag-window shop doon, but, um, tapos I subscribed to their newsletter. Then, one time, their newsletter sa email sent an sent a message that they are giving away this item for free. This is um, this is actually worth 230 pesos. I check ko. 200, 260 pesos ang value nito, but I got it for free because of their promo. So, nung nakita ko na free to, so I ordered and I got several stuff that I wanted to order and I basically reached 1,500 pesos and this is my first order mostly skincare products yung experience ko with them I ordered March 10 and I received the the box on March 16 so not bad nagbibigay sila ng time frame na 10 to 15 days siguro just to be safe I'll just do a separate um, detailed review of detailed haul for Althea. I just want to compare the shopping experience between Althea, Lazada, Shopee, Facebook, Instagram. So my second Althea box was again because of their promotional deals. I think ang dami kasi masyado na naka-sale noon kaya naintay sa kong bumili. So yeah, like I mentioned, um, the shopping experience in Althea is really, really good kasi napakadaling mag-browse ng items. I actually had one issue paying using PayPal kasi parang nagkaroon ng bug or something na hindi na-recognize yung discount code na ginamit ko. I contacted Althea on Facebook and they were really helpful. I also went ahead and um, emailed the support of Althea and yun, hindi siya instant reply sa email pero ang bilis nilang mag-reply like a day after you email them but it's supposed to be a business day so maybe meron silang ding mga office hours kanyan but yes, they were really helpful if you have concerns. So, second naman na uh, online shopping site that I'll talk about is Shopee. So, Shopee is fairly new. I mean, I think, yeah, medyo bago rin siya. Pero yung Shopee, mas bago pa siya, mas recent pa siya. And, actually, ang dami rin nilang deals, like, promo deals, sale, ganyan. The promo that made me um, buy from Shopee 
is actually another Korean skincare or cosmetic sale. Sa Shopee, meron iba't ibang sellers. Tapos, pwede kang sabay-sabay bumili sa mga sellers na yun, tapos isang checkout lang para... Pero, it doesn't really matter kasi iba-ibang shipping fee pa rin. Darong best na pala ako. Ay, hindi. Ay, hindi. Tama. Isang best pa lang ako nakabili sa Shopee. Pero, tatlong sellers yung binilhan ko. Meron siya actually mga free shipping. Tapos, nagkakaroon sila ng mga flash sale na nagiging 49 pesos or 90 pesos na lang yung mga bagay-bagay. That time, ang sale nun is... Ito, I, only, I got this for only 40 pesos. This is up, up you, um, Deep Clean Foam Cleanser. Actually, hindi ko pa ito nagagamit. And then, I got this. I always wanted to get a pen, a marker pen tint for gradient lips. So, I got this for only 90 pesos. I believe yung original price niya is 250 so, isang seller lang yun. I think, Koreana PH yata yun. I'm not sure. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box. But yes, imagine I got these two items for 130 pesos only. Kaya, sobrang naintay sa kong bumili. And, hindi ko naman siya pinagsisihan. And, the seller for this item is actually very efficient. Like, ang bilis niya mag-send mag-ship, etc. And, another item that I got is ito. It's a it's a 2-in-1 hair beauty tool. Ito naman, ang promo niya is free shipping. So, imbis na babayad ako ng 50 pesos for shipping, I just went ahead and got it kasi limited time lang daw yung free shipping. So, pinagsabay-sabay ko na lang sila. Pero, wala naman talagang advantage na sabay-sabay kang bumili sa iba't ibang seller kasi iba't iba rin yung shipping fee nila. So, akala ko kasi meron. So, I was so foolish to think that akala ko magiging free yung shipping ng iba kasi si Shopee nagpapromote, mga ganyan, yung pala. Hindi. So, I'll also do a separate video for this. I got this for 450 pesos, free shipping. Yun, the seller for this was also very friendly. Um, no problem with the shopping experience whatsoever. Now, sa third seller na binilhan ko actually, um, doon ako nagka-problema kasi ang binili ko kay ate... <clears throat> Is this, it's just basically um, a cell phone holder, magnetic cell phone holder na ilalagay mo siya sa isang surface tapos pwede mo, nakakabit na yung cell phone mo doon tapos pwede mo siya yung ganun, ganun So yan, hindi ko pa ito na-open kasi na lang. Medyo nabanas ako sa seller kaya hanggang ngayon hindi ko siya ina-open. Tapos, ito yung may nagkaroon ng problema. Ayan. This is the cell phone wallet. Nasira kasi yung wallet ko. Nakasya yung cell phone ko dun. Tapos, meron siyang handle. Ayan. So, dito, pwede kong sana ilagay yung cell phone ko. Tapos, dito yung mga cards ko, ID, and money. In, all in one wallet. And, medyo cute pa yung... Ano niya? I mean, it's not really elegant, like, look, expensive looking. Pero, cute na rin. Tapos ito, syempre, pag may hawak, pag may hawak ang wallet, ba parang, la 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 la. Ganun kasi yung type ko, and ganun yung dati kong cell phone wallet. Kaya, um, since 180 pesos lang to sa store, sa shop ni ate, sa kanya ako bumili, sa iba kasi 280, 400, ganyan. But, unfortunately, kahit mura ko nabili to, ang daming problema na na-encounter ko dito. But, Shopee handled it very well. Ang um, ginagawa ng Shopee kasi, halimbawa, nag-order ako ng dalawang ng item sa isang seller. Tapos, magbabayad ako kay Shopee. For example, ang total ng um, napili ko sa isang seller is 340 pesos. 
magbabayad ako kay Shopee ng 340 pesos. Hindi direct kay seller ako magbabayad. So, si Shopee, yung gagawin niya, yung hold niya yung money hanggat hindi mo ni ko, hanggat hindi mo kino-confirm sa site na na-receive mo na yung order. Pag na-confirm mo na na-receive mo na yung order, dun niya lang ito-transfer kay seller yung amount. Tapos, yun. So, ang nangyari, I played it safe. Um, in, ang gusto nga actually ni seller nito is um, itag ko na as order received. Tapos, sabi ko sa kanya, eh, di ba si Ra, sis? Ha, hindi naman si Raya. Ngayon, ngayon. Basta, tapos, basta siya pa'y naiinis. Ayoko nang, ayoko na rin sabihin kung sino yung seller, pero, kasi marami na rin naman siyang reviews, and okay naman yung overall review sa kanya. Pero, yun nga, meron ding mga nagre-rate sa kanya ng 1 star o 2 stars, kasi, minsan, nagsiship siya ng damaged items. Kaya yun, I really tried to be nice to her nga kasi I know what ha I know how it feels to sell something online then like pag mag nagbebenta ko ng pre-loved items ganun. So yun, um ang ending hindi ko kinilik yung order received sa Shopee, tas kinilik ko na I received um, a faulty item ganyan. So ang ginawa ni Shopee is kinontak niya yung seller Si, si seller pa, dinispute niya na, dinispute niya na faulty yung nasend niyang item sa akin. Basta, dun ka mabibilib sa Shopee site kasi they handled everything very well. But, syempre, bagong site pa lang sila. So, I think they're, you know, trying to play good in the, in the market. Ganyan. But, I hope that it will last, syempre, di ba? So, if they will keep it up that way, they they will perhaps be the number one shopping site in the Philippines. Unless, may bagong gumating na mas okay yung service, ganyan. But, anyway, going back, so, yun, I clicked the refund, she disputed it, may, may, tumat, may tatawag sa'yo from Shopee, na very polite, even in the email, they're very polite, mag email sila, or Hindi, nakalimutan ko na kung ano na yun. Nakalimutan ko na kung anong nauna eh, Kung yung email o tawag. Basta may tumawag sa akin na sa, saying na, Hi, we received um, an email or we received your request that you're requesting refund for an item that you received because it was faulty, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, in order to investigate, you have to send proof that the item is really faulty and that you tried to talk about it with the seller on how on how to fix the issue, ganyan. So, I sent screenshots of evidence na nung una nag-usap pa kami ni seller kung kung anong gagawin, kung papalitan ba to, pagtsatsagaan ko ba, ganyan. So, yun, nung na-receive na nila yung evidence ko, um, they decided na, o oh, nga, it's, um, it's eligible for refund. So, Meron silang condition na I have to send it back within 3 days. Not really ma-receive ni seller na 3 days, but I have to send it back within 3 days para ma-refund yung money sa akin. So, at this point, hindi pa nare-receive ni seller yung, um, yung payment ko sa kanya. So, bago ko nga actually i-click yung refund or request refund, Gusto ni seller na click ko na yung order receive. Pag kasi kinlik ko na yung order receive, mababayaran na ni Shopee si seller. So, I thought, bakit ko gagawin yun? Eh, hindi, hindi naman niya dapat ma-receive yung payment kasi di, ano, meron pa kaong issue dito sa item na to. So, yun. I think, nung may nakausap nga ako sa phone, sabi niya, tama yung decision niyo ma'am kasi... Uh, hindi nyo dapat i-click na order received kasi pag kinlik mo na order received it means that you received the item in good condition and that the seller deserves the payment that you sent Shopee so I don't know what could have happened if hindi ko kinlik kung kinlik ko na agad yung order received instead of refund but hindi pa doon natatapos ang issue so within 3 days that was actually the election weekend 
I tried really hard, technically, no, um, to send this back to the seller as fast as soon as possible. Kaso yung lahat ng mga shipping options ko dito sa area namin is like 99 pesos. So, yung send, X-E-N-D, meron sana siyang <clears throat> 49 pesos yata yun na shipping option sa mga 7-Eleven. Dito sa area namin, merong tatlong 7-Eleven. Dito sa side ng street namin, dalawa dun sa kabila. Tapos, lahat ng tatlong 7-Eleven um, shops na yun, pwede sana, pwede dapat mag send sa kanila. Mag send using send. X-E-N-D. Pero, wala sila nung parang kung ano man yung mga kailangan para ma-pick up yung items sa send. Like, wala sila nung bag, wala sila nung form, etc. So, for two days, uh, naghahanap ako, pumunta akong Tugo, pumunta akong JRS Express. Yung mga option na yun, 99 pesos lang sa 7-Eleven wala sila nung form ng said. So, parang inisip ko, ano ba yan? 180 pesos lang yung wallet na binili ko. Kung isi-send back ko to, 100 pesos, 80 pesos, wala pa kong wallet. Basta, parang nahasailan na ako, tas ang init-init pa nun, election pa nun, mga ganun. Tapos, imbis na nagpahinga kami sa long weekend, sayang yung oras namin kakaikot sa mga 7-Eleven. So, I decided na, wala, akin, okay, ikikip ko na to, and ayoko na mapagod. Ganyan. So, nag-email ako ulit kay Shopee na sabi ko, sa kan sabi ko kayo Shopee, um, this is to inform you that I am no longer requesting a refund for this item because I tried to find, um, I tried to find the, an affordable and practical shipping option to return this to the seller within the three days that you gave me, but parang sobrang hassle pa niya, and etc. So, sabi ko kay Shopee, please inform the seller that I didn't change my mind in keeping this. It's just that it's too much hassle for me, and it's technically still her fault. Parang ganun yung point nung ano ko, nung email ko. Tapos si Shopee, sobrang galing niya talagang i-handle yung situation na nag-apologize pa rin sila. So, so, I sent this through email, but and then someone called me again on my phone saying that um sorry for the inconvenience we'll let the we'll let the seller know that was they informed me of and what will happen with the order they said that uh basta merong process na i-cancel yata yung refund or i-dispute ni seller na hindi ko na sold yung item para makuha niya na yung payment ganyan so in the end um since this is like a shoppy review, not about the seller, I wanted you to guys to know that um, Shopee is a good shopping site in terms of handling, in terms of taking care of buyers and sellers, like both sides. Kasi, um, hindi sila bias. Like, ako as a seller, they took care of the issue that I had. And, they, you know, since they hold the money first before sending it to the seller because they make sure that you receive the order and then seller, on the seller side they also make sure that nasoli nga ba yung item, sira nga ba talaga, so it's a good plus point for them um, it, it was in the long run a good shopping experience plus you get to rate the seller for that for every item that you get. So, yun, I rated a low rating for that seller. But for the other items that I got from Shopee, I was able to rate them accordingly depending on the item. So, if you ask me, Shopee is a good shopping site. And they have good promotions as well. Sa Lazada, madaling maghanap like yung mga gitara na branded. I share ko na rin yung experience sa inyo with the Facebook sellers. So, this one I got from Facebook. Isa sa mga favorite kong nabili sa landmark is itong brush na to. Ang ganda-ganda nito. Ang lambot-lambot. Tapos, yan. 
Wala siyang brand, 150 ko lang.